The second time this week, con congressional leaders left the White House without a deal to reopen parts of the federal government. Yeah, we are all waiting to see what happens. Nicole Killian has more on Capitol Hill. Democrats emerged from their second meeting with President Trump this week, calling it a sometimes contentious conversation. We told the president we needed the government open. He resisted. In fact, he said he'd keep the government closed for a very long period of time, months or even years. As the Democrats spoke, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell quietly left. And just a few minutes later, the president addressed the media in the Rose Garden. The shutdown could go on for months or even a year or longer. Did you say that? And I did. Is that your, I did. Is that Border your assessment of where I did we are? That. Absolutely, I said that. I don't think it will, but I am prepared. It's the 14th day of the partial government shutdown, and the big issue remains funding for the border wall. About 800,000 federal workers are not getting paid. House Democrats passed two bills last night to reopen the government, measures that were also passed by the GOP-controlled Senate in the previous Congress. Leader McConnell has said the Senate would not consider those bills because they do not fulfill the president's border funding request. Yet House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and President Trump both offered glimmers of hope for common ground. Better understanding of each other's position when you eliminate some possibilities. If that's a judgment, then that's, we made some progress. The Trump administration officials and congressional leaders are expected to continue negotiations over the weekend. Nicole Killian, CBS News, the White House.